Our next lecture is going to be about the speed prior, which is really useful for inductive inference. What is inductive inference about? There is data coming in, and we can encode the incoming data in terms of bit string. All the videos, all the audio that is coming into a learning system can be encoded by some bit string x, let's call it x, and then uh, at a given moment in time you have observed x and then you want to predict the future because machine learning is about predicting future things, unseen things, from past experience. So the big question is now, given the x that I've seen so far, what is the um, future that I have to expect? And uh, using Bayes' rule, uh, what we can do is we can say, okay, let's look at the possible um, uh, futures y, so the entire life will be the combination of x and y, and now the question is, what is the most likely y that we can observe given the x that we already have seen? And then um, Bayes basically says, the probability of um, y uh, coming after x, of um, x being followed by y, is the same thing as the, is proportional to the a priori probability of x, y taken together. And now uh, Zolomanov at some point in the 60s came up with an ingenious way of optimally predicting futures in, um, in such set in settings where the only assumption is that um, the x's and y's are drawn from a computable probability distribution and um, he had an uncomputable way of, um, of devising a universal prior, which is known as the universal Solomonov prior, and this uh, universal prior dominates all um, computer priors in the sense that it um, assigns as much probability to any x as um, any computable prior, save for a constant factor which does not depend on the size of x or anything like that. Now, <clears throat> having said that, um, let me point out that um, uh, Solomonov's um, optimal but non-computable method for um, inductive inference um, indeed assumes that observation sequences x are drawn from, um, from a recursive uh, prior distribution which is often called mu of x. Mu of x, that's the original prior distribution which we don't know. So we don't know what is the rule that uh, defines the new data coming in um, based on the old data that we have seen already. So instead of using the unknown mu of x, we uh, predict using the celebrated uh, universal innumerable prior or sometimes called Solomonov 11 semi-measure M of X, capital M of X, which for all X exceeds any recursive uh, mu of X, which is the true, true distribution, which we don't know, save for this constant factor independent of X. Uh, by the way, uh, Ray Solomonov was a visiting professor here in our lab in the early 2000s. Unfortunately, he passed away a couple of years later. Now, the simplicity measure, uh, m of x of Solomonov's universal prior, naturally implements Arkham's razor. Arkham's razor says simple solutions are preferred over complex solutions. And uh, this uh, notion of simplicity is closely related to K of X, capital K of X, the Kolmogorov complexity or algorithmic information of X. In fact, there's a close connection between M of X, Solomonov's universal uh, prior, and K of X, uh, the Kolmogorov complexity of X. And uh, my previous um, uh, postdoc, Markus Hutter, has explored lots of these connections. Now, predictions based on M are optimal in a certain incomputable sense. However, um, 
M, this innumerable um, universal prior, assigns high probability to certain data X that are extremely hard to compute. So although these X's are really hard to compute, they get a lot of a priori probability assigned through this M of X. And this does really um, match our intuitive notion of simplicity because our intuitive notion of simplicity has something to do with the complexity associated with computing something from some other thing. So I suggested a more plausible measure, universal measure, derived from the fastest way of computing data. Not necessarily from the shortest way of computing data, the most compressed way, but uh, the fastest. And in absence of any contrarian physical evidence, I assume that all of the physical world around us is generated by a computation, by a computational process, without any probabilistic interventions. No, just by a computer program that computes all of the data that's coming in and uh, that all possibly infinite sequence of observations, sequences of observations, are therefore computable in the limit. So this um, assumption is more radical and stronger than uh, the one of Ray Solomonov, who just um, assumed that the distribution is computable. But um, in his case, you can have infinitely long um, um, histories of um, universes which um, cannot be computed by a finite program. And then what I did, I replaced Solomonov's measure M by the novel speed prior S. The speed prior S under which the cumulative a priori probability of all data whose computation through an optimal algorithm requires more than order of n resources and this order uh, notation, uh, asymptotic optimality or um, notation, more than O of n resources is 1 divided by n. So that's the um, speed prior. And uh, to evaluate the plausibility of this, consider that most data generated on your own computer um, are computable within a few microseconds and some of them take a few seconds and a few data files take a couple of hours and very few take days, etc., etc. So in that sense, uh, the speed fryer seems to be a, a quite reasonable way of translating uh, resource limitations into a priori probabilities that should be used for inductive inference. If you don't predict the future uh, through Solomonov's um, universal measure, but instead use the speed prior, then you get different types of predictions, um, more precise predictions. And let, my, let me immedi immediately go to an extreme application. Um, there is no physical evidence against the assumption that the entire history of our universe is computable through a finite program. And the most important goal of physics is to find that short, hopefully short program. And uh, we assume that this program is sampled according to the speed, speed prior, according to uh, S, or um, according to uh, some uh, less dominant prior, which is dominated by the S prior, um, which corresponds to some suboptimal um, uh, computation of the history. The legendary Konrad Zuse was the first uh, scientist who seriously suggested that the universe, the entire universe is being computed on a grid of computers or um, a cellular automaton as it is now called. Uh, compare the related work by Ed Fredkin who um, initiated the uh, translation of uh, Zuse's 1969 book on Rechnender Raum, on calculating space, where he presented this thesis. Now, under our assumptions uh, um, of a computable universe, we can immediate, immediately predict, using the sp speed prior, that, first of all, our universe, as it is, is not going to get many times older than it is now. That's one interesting prediction. Then, 
another important prediction, large scale quantum computation that anybody, that everybody is hoping for, it is not going to work well. Maybe ad adiabatic and certain types of quantum computation that are about simulating um, uh, quantum systems, they may work uh, nicely, but the, um, the really uh, desirable universal quantum uh, computation that would be used to uh, break cryptographic codes and everything, that is not going to work well, essentially because it would um, require too many computational resources in interfering parallel universes and um, the speed prior would assign low complexity, low probability to that. And a third prediction is that any apparent randomness in any physical observation such as beta decay is in fact due not to true randomness but to some yet unknown but fast pseudo-random generator which we should try to discover. Maybe the pseudo-random generator is the short program that computes pi, the digits of pi, if you print them out, they look random, but they are not. Yes, every sequence of three numbers, like 5, 9, 6, appears roughly, every, um, uh, roughly once every 1,000 times. However, uh, it is not really random because there's this, this very short program of pi that computes all of that. And, um, and the prediction is that everything that seems random at the moment is um, at some point going to turn out to be non-random and computed by a deterministic random number generator. These um, ideas have recently attracted a lot of attention and uh, you, can more, you can read more about that in the paper on the speed prior but also in the uh, even older um, paper I wrote in 2000 on the algorithmic theories of everything, which then, as a spin-off, um, created the speed prior paper.